I was just reflecting on when, before I came to this training, I was so um, occupied in trying to figure out what my identity is, basically, because I was so um, observing myself a lot with um, in in all situations, and because I always had different emotions and thoughts and feelings in each circumstance, and I was always thinking, okay, who who am I really? Like sometimes I feel like this in this particular setting and then I feel like that in another setting and <coughs> so I try to figure out who, yeah, who am I really, am I like more introverted or more extroverted, am I more funny or not or you know because it was always changing with these people and then I was thinking okay it must have to do with the people that I'm with and the situation, I'm, I mean I had all kinds of elaborate um, theories about about it basically, all kinds of thoughts and emotions about like what what makes me as a person and I couldn't really figure it out so when I came to this training just to hear that I'm not my thoughts and emotions and sensations it was such a relief that I didn't need to figure out anymore why I am in a setting like this why I'm in another like that why I feel like this towards that person and to this person totally different and you know, all these things and um, trying to make find out who am I really and, and, and I didn't need to do that anymore that I could just allow myself to be as I am with everything that arises and seeing that all these data <coughs> streams or everything that I feel, sense and think is not something that I need to put into my as an identity as, as a person but rather seeing that I'm the vastness of all thoughts, emotion and sensations as open intelligence, inseparable that there's something about me that I can always count on. Because we all know that all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, or all our data streams that we can just call data, they continue to change always. And we all know that. We probably all made that observation. And, and then we see like there's something about us that is always stable, that we can always count on, open intelligence, that never changes. But when we are so... Um, focus on the description of our data streams, we don't know that there's something about us that is always present, always there, untouched, unchanged, open intelligence, the power to know, the power that hears, thinks, feels and senses, inseparable from our thoughts, emotion and sensation, open intelligence. And we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment and recognize what <coughs> remains. What remains when we stop thinking? There's a, there's a presence there, alertness, and we recognize that. And then the next thought comes in. And then we realize, wow, well, even though the thought comes in, we recognize that this present is also present, inseparable from the thought. So there's no need to stop thinking all the time because it's just the introduction that we can recognize open intelligence, always present more and more by allowing data to be as it is, we bring open intelligence to the foreground of our how we perceive the world, how we perceive a situation. We recognize open intelligence always present. So the focus shifts on, from, on data streams, trying to figure out our <laughs> data streams, changing, replacing, or avoiding, to recognizing open intelligence, always present, always stable, always there. It just naturally comes to the foreground more and more. And we bring it to the foreground more and more by taking short moments. So that short moments of recognizing open intelligence, always present, always on. That's the simple instruction in the Balanced View training. To take a short moment whenever we naturally remember to do so. We just rest body and mind completely for a split short moment. And initially it might be a bit effortful because we're so used to emphasizing our data streams, describing our thoughts and emotions, trying to figure out what it's all about there, what comes up. Maybe a data stream triggered and we try to figure out why it's there and everything. <laughs> so we relax that completely. We don't need to figure out anything. Data streams, they just come up, hang out a while and then they just resolve, like we heard in the video self-releasing, without n us needing to do anything in that process of data stream to come up, to be there and to self-release. <coughs> we can just allow them to flow on by. All data streams. It, it applies to all data. The nature of all data streams is fleeting, unpredictable, and we cannot do anything 
with it or we can allow it to be as it is to really recognize that open intelligence is always present. We recognize that nothing needs to be done with our data stream in order to have complete clarity and insight in every circumstance and situation. Now we probably might have thought, and at least I thought that always, I need to figure my data out in order to have clarity. I need to change it, I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of that box of an identity. But what I see, I, I could just allow that to be as it is. We don't need to get rid of anything. What I saw is by allowing it to be as it is, that that feeling of that box I had of myself just expanded and opened up. And that's with all data stream. We just open them up. We, need, we don't need to get rid of our data in order to recognize open intelligence. Open intelligence is separ inseparable from data. If we try to get rid of all our data, we try to get rid of open intelligence. Because as they are inseparable, and it's not possible. So we can just completely relax. Nothing needs to be done. And that's what we do with a, a simple short moment. We relax body and mind again and again. We test it out in our everyday life. That's what the invitation is, to just test it out. When we go about our, our day here in Arambol, we just allow it to be as it is, taking a short moment, recognizing open intelligence, whatever we are doing. And that these short moments just naturally grow longer and longer. At one point, it just shifts that it just it becomes so automatic. We are not interested anymore in the data stream. I'm not interested in my data at all. My thoughts, I don't really, I really don't care what I'm thinking and feeling just doesn't matter to me anymore. It, it's amazing to see that and it's amazing to say that also with such complete assurance because I've made these experiences in my life, that in, in my experience that there, it's nothing really in that thoughts and emotions. They are, don't describe who I am. They don't describe what, <coughs> they don't give me any information of, of how I can relate with, with a human being. I don't want to rel uh, rely on my thoughts because they go wild. They just like do whatever they want. I, I don't have any control over them, so I don't want to rely on them in order to relate with someone. It's so um, limiting to do that. So that's why we, are, we allow ourselves to rest deeply and use open intelligence to inform our actions at all times. And then we can be assured that our actions are always aligned with benefit. Because open intelligence is naturally beneficial. So when we relax, we know what to do. We know what to do. We know how to, to relate to people. We can be of complete benefit because we're not distracted by our thoughts and emotions. They can do whatever they want. doesn't matter. We just simply allow ourselves to relax deeply, moment to moment. And that's how we gain assurance. That's how we use also this. That's how we also can use the four mainstays, which is the support structure of balanced view. A simple s support structure that will always point us back to the recognition of open intelligence. So the first mainstay is what I shared now is the, the short moments that we can do everywhere. Wherever we are, we can take a short moment. With ev whoever we are with, with whatever data is there, we can just <coughs> completely relax. One moment at a time. Then we have all the trainings and, and meetings and we all have all trainings we also have online. We um, have a video conference where we can log in. And that's a great way to hear more about the global community. Going on calls, where because on these calls, people from all over the world log in, share their experiences from where they live in, in different communities or different areas of the world and just share how, how it's going there. That's the perfect way to be informed. Going on these calls from people all over the world, seeing that there's so many people making that choice to, to rely on open intelligence in their lives. It's, it's mind-blowing. So th these are available for everyone. So even if you're now leaving here in Arambol and go home to your home country, or you're staying here, and, and uh, you can always log into a call. Be there f with, with the community for an hour and share your experience, ha hear the experience of others, ask questions, and hear the trainers share their experiences as well. So that's always available and um, then of course we have open meetings all over the world in different places. We have trainings offered in different areas in, in, in the world and um, so it's so great a way to come together and be inspired by, by other people doing the, making that same choice. 
which is our fourth main city, the, the, um, the community, being together with other people. I skipped one main city, didn't I? Ah, the trainer, yeah, of course. The <laughs> to have somebody who could share their experience and guide us back always to open intelligence. I found that so inspiring and also having a trainer that always sees open intelligence in me when I didn't see it myself. When I was caught up in my data stream, having someone that just recognize open intelligence in me and can point me back to that was so inspiring. So being in touch with someone that can share their experience is so powerful as well. And then the community, being together with other people as well. It's so inspiring and seeing how we can work together so effortlessly and efficiently. When I come here at the center, I'm so amazed. Every day I'm amazed how we all work together in complete harmony and peace and empowerment. Just everybody just wanting the best for the other person and wanting to focus on the benefit of all. And it's so obvious in everyone that that is our direction, how we want to operate together. And from that we learn so much from each other. It's amazing. Uh, but always the focus the benefit of all and empowerment. That's what we just receive here. Always when we come, it's just the focus on benefit and empowerment again and again. And so we can really make use of the, the Four Mainstays in that way. And it's just <coughs> completely available in the way we want to use it. We can test it out little, that's what I did initially, I just tested out a little bit. And then I saw, oh wow, it works. And I tried other Mainstays, wow, it just supports even more and it, it just became so natural to just use the support to just allowing myself to really recognize all my data because that was what I was then committed to. I didn't just want to recognize those data that I felt comfortable and thought, okay, those are open intelligence. I wanted to recognize all data as open intelligence, even the ones that I didn't really want to see, that I was really like, wow, this is really f powerful to allow it to be as it is. Data where I thought, other people's fault or I didn't really want to look at it correctly. I always thought, oh no, this person, it's his or her fault that I have this data stream. But it was amazing to see. Nobody's fault that I have these complete data streams. That was so inspiring for me to see. I can take full responsibility for my own data stream that arises. That's where we have the responsibility. It's not other people's fault. It was so tempting always to to find the reasons in the setting or in other people or, you know, it's amazing to say, wow, it's really my choice. I can choose how I want to relate to that specific data stream. So that we really allow ourselves to come to that simplicity of that choice in every moment that we can make in every moment to allow ourselves to rest deeply, one moment at a time. <coughs> 